Hi, this is Anne from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to make a circle arrow frame in Adobe Illustrator. All right, let's get started. Okay, first we'll start a new document. So I'll come over here to Create New. We'll come up here to the top and choose Print, and then Letter, and then we'll go to Create. So first, to get started, I'm going to make an arrow. So I'll hit P to get to my Pen tool, which is right over here. I'm going to click once and then hold shift and just draw a thin line. Now, if yours doesn't look like mine, you can just hit D on your keyboard and it'll give you a white fill and black outline. Okay, let's increase the weight a little bit to maybe three. I'm in my stroke palette. And if you don't see this palette, you can come up here to window stroke right here. And all the other palettes you see here will also be found under window. Okay, now I'm going to deselect with Shift Command A or Shift Control A on a PC. And I'm going to zoom in by hitting Z on my keyboard and just drawing a box around this line. Okay, now I'm going to hit M to get a rectangle. So I'm going to start drawing and then I'll hold Shift to get a perfect square. And now I want to rotate this. So I'm going to hit R on my keyboard. That'll bring me to the Rotate tool. I'll start rotating and hold Shift. Okay, now we can use our A tool, which is their direct selection tool, and just select this point right back here and delete it. So now we have the point for our arrow. I'm going to hit V and click on that and just put it right up here. Now this has a white fill, as you can see, so let's hit uh, the slash mark or the question mark key to get rid of that. All right, now I'm going to click on this and start dragging and then hold shift and option. Shift will keep it along the same plane and option will uh, make a copy. Now I'll click and drag again and hold shift and option or alt on a PC to make another one. And I'm going to hit command D to make a few more of those. Okay, now I want something in here. So I think I'll just have some circles. I'll hit L on my keyboard to get to my ellipse tool. I'm going to click and drag and hold shift to get a little circle here. And I'm going to hold shift and option or alt on a PC to copy that. And then I'm going to make this a little smaller. Actually, let's select both and make them a little bit bigger. And then I'll use my arrow keys to move those back up. I'm going to click on this one, start dragging and hold shift and option. And then we'll hit Command D or Control D on a PC to um, transform again. Now I'm going to click this big one and hold Shift and Option or Alt and move it right over here. Okay, so this is getting pretty close to what I want. I want to hold Shift and select the two big ones and I want to switch these so I only have a fill and no stroke. All right. Let's go ahead and copy and paste in front. Command C and Command F on a Mac. Control C and Control F on a PC. And then I'm just going to stretch this one out like this. Now I'm going to use my A tool to just draw a box around the two ends. And then we'll hit Option Command J. That would be Alt Control J on a PC. And that will bring up Average. The nice thing about this, it will take any points that you have and kind of smash them together. So we've just selected those two points. I'm going to choose both and say OK. And you can see it's brought them together exactly on top of each other. And I'll do the same over here. Select both of those. Then Option Command J or Alt Control J on a PC and we'll choose both. I'm going to click off and select them both with my uh, Move tool or selection tool. Then I'll hit Command J or Control J twice. So what we're doing is we're joining those two points here and then we'll do it again to join those two points there. So I'll hit that twice and you can see they've come to points now. Let's go ahead and choose a fill only. So I'll switch those. And let's hit A on our keyboard to get to our direct selection. Click on that point and just move it out a little bit. And then we'll move this in. 
Okay, this is looking nice. I'm going to Command minus or Control minus to zoom out. And I'm going to highlight that whole thing. And then we'll come down here to the Align palette. And I'm going to choose the Vertical Align Center one. And that'll just kind of align everything along this line here. Okay, let's group this with Command G or Control G. Now open up your brushes panel if you don't have it open already. And now we'll select this whole thing and just drag it into the brushes. When we do that, we'll get a new brush dialog box and we'll want to choose pattern brush. We'll say, okay. And all of these options look good. We'll say, okay. Now I'm going to zoom out with command minus or control minus. And I'll hit L on my keyboard to get to the ellipse tool. I'll hold shift and draw a big circle on my canvas. And then I can come over here to this pattern brush and just click it once. Make sure we do not have a fill. And so we'll choose none right down here. Now, and now you can see the arrows going around the circle and making a circle frame. Now, if you want to change something about your pattern brush, you can do that. Just click on the little square beside it and pull it out into your document. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. This is our pattern here. And I'll get it on my group selection tool. I'm going to select just these. And then I'm going to make them a little bit smaller. I'm holding shift and option and grabbing a corner. And we'll move this out a little bit with the arrow keys. And then command minus. And I think I also want to reduce the size of this. So I've clicked it with my group selection. And then I'm just going to resize it, holding shift and option or shift and alt on a PC. So another thing I want to do is I want to add a little space between the two arrows. I'm going to select that rectangle with my group selection tool, hit V on my keyboard, which will give me, um, which will give me handles. And then I'm going to option and drag. So it's a little wider. So this will just add space in front of this arrow. Usually when I do this, I just get rid of this other one. I'll delete that. I'm just going to highlight the one that we changed, hit V and then come over here to the brushes and hold option and put it right over the top of that other pattern brush. It'll bring this dialog box up again and we'll say, okay, and then it'll ask us if we want to apply it to the strokes. And we do, we want to apply it to the same circle. So we'll say that. And now you can see the changes that you made. So we've got a little more space in here between the arrows and we've got smaller feathers and we've got a smaller arrowhead on it. So a lot of people like to use these as monogram frames. And if you head over to design bundles, you can find a lot of circle monogram alphabets that'll fit perfectly inside this frame. And now we can delete all the other stuff. And now we've just got the arrow frame by itself. All right, if you like this video and you wanna see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.